Kakuji the Demon is a metroidvania style game made almost single-handedly by E. Hashimoto. You play as a cute but evil pink demon who lost all of his powers after being defeated by a hero. Of course, to get all your powers back and eventually defeat the hero, you have to go to a maze filled with enemies first. The worlds are just as bright and colorful as your demon itself and the sprite work is really fantastic. The game feels like an homage to platformers like Super Mario Bros. 3 and Castlevania with the caverns, castles and world to the power-ups and the way everything controls. But everything looks and feels so charming that there is a lot to love about this game. It's rather easy and short too, which I don't mind. This is just a fun little game you can beat in a couple of hours. The built-in timer makes it perfect for speedrunners too. The music by Zack has a spooky elevator jazz themed retro-ish vibe which works quite well in this cartoony setting. It does get repetitive but never annoying because it's so well done. The only thing this game seriously lacks compared to similar games are secrets. You can't go inside walls or shoot them while you'd think there's plenty opportunity to add this. What you see in Akuji is what you get. Apart from your abilities and some clever little puzzles, there are no real surprises in this game. For a metroidvania style game, the game is as simple as it gets. The only thing you have to worry about is your health. There are skulls you can collect that are called mana for some reason, but they just add to your total health. If you collect all of those, the game becomes even less of a challenge. The bosses aren't too hard either. They have patterns, but basically you just keep throwing fireballs and they die. The hero is your final boss and holy crap, probably the most awesome one I've ever seen. Look at that sword. It must be some kind of homage to all the huge sword goodness Japanese RPGs are famous for. After the sword is gone and most of his clothes, the hero will go Kamehameha on your ass. And when defeated, you can grab your final seal which ends the game. After finishing, Akuji decides to not cause mischief anymore, but for some reason he still kidnaps a girl, I'm not sure about that. Akuji the Demon is an awesome little game, and if you are an indie or retro enthusiast with a couple of hours to spend, then check it out by all means. And if you have kids, this might just be the perfect introduction to these types of games, because it's easy, rewarding and has most of the elements a good platformer should have. And while you're at it, have a look at Hashimoto's other games too, because there's some real gems here like Guardian of Paradise, Buster and Hydra Castle Labyrinth that haven't got the attention they deserve. That will be all for this review. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome Halloween. Cheers!